We saw the impossible last season as Alabama wide receiver Devontae Smith took home the Heisman Trophy. Although this is still a quarterback award, we saw that non-quarterbacks still have a legitimate chance at winning. Today, we're going to be taking a look at 10 non-quarterbacks who I think have a legitimate chance to win the Heisman in 2021. Before we get to today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football content, then this is definitely the place for you. We're going to kick off this list with the only only running back who made my initial top 10 overall players list, Iowa State running back Brees Hall. Hall is expected to be one of the best running backs in the country in 2021, and I think he's the most likely running back to win the award. He was fantastic for the Cyclones last season as he rushed for 1,600 yards with 21 rushing touchdowns. He also added over 20 catches for 200 yards and two touchdowns in the receiving game. The Cyclones have a tough Big 12 schedule plus a non-con game against Iowa. If Iowa State can be in the college football playoff hunt and Brees Hall is among the leading rushers in the nation, he's easily going to be receiving Heisman votes, especially if there isn't a quarterback who has run away with the award. I talked about him in my sleepers video, but if there's going to be a running back winning the Heisman, another option is Texas A&M running back Isaiah Spiller. In 23 games over the last two seasons, he's rushed for over 2,000 yards with 19 rushing touchdowns. He's also added 49 catches for 400 yards in the passing game as well. He has 10 games in his career with at least 100 rushing yards and has 13 games with at least a rushing touchdown. I don't really think there are any players at AM who are going to be in the running for the Heisman, so as long as AM is contending for an SEC title spot and a playoff spot, Spiller would have to be the front runner for the Aggies. Up next, we have Texas running back Bijan Robinson, who is actually tied with Brees Hall on DraftKings as being the best odds to win for a non quarterback. In very limited action last season, the freshman rushed for 700 yards while averaging over 8 yards a carry. He had 4 rushing touchdowns along with 15 catches for 200 yards with 2 receiving touchdowns. He really started getting more opportunities near the end of the season, and boy was he capitalizing. Over the final month, he rushed for over 110 yards against West Virginia while averaging 9 yards a carry. Against Kansas State, he rushed for 170 yards with 3 rushing touchdowns on only 9 carries while adding 3 catches for 50 yards as well. Well. Then, against Colorado in the Alamo Bowl, he rushed for 180 yards with a touchdown on only 10 carries, while also adding two receiving touchdowns. If he could put up numbers like that over the course of a full season, Robinson could very easily be the Heisman winner. Like I said in my previous videos, he'll need to make sure the Longhorns win some games too. A lot of people may think another player at Auburn has a better chance of winning the Heisman than the one I'm going to talk about. And let me just say this, the day Bo Nix receives Heisman votes is the day I suit up and play quarterback for Alabama. It's just never going to happen. So with that being said, let's take a look at Auburn running back Tank Bigsby. If they had an award based solely off names, he'd already be a finalist. As a freshman in 2020, he rushed for over 800 yards, averaging 6 yards a carry. He also added 5 rushing touchdowns to go along with 300 kick return yards. He had a really good 3 game stretch during the middle of the season in which he averaged 130 rushing yards a game to go along with 3 rushing touchdowns. He also ended the season on a high note as he rushed for nearly 200 yards against Mississippi State. If Bo Nix does what I think he'll do in 2021, Bigsby very well likely is going to be the one carrying this offense. If Auburn finds themselves in the playoff hunt and Bigsby is near the top of the running back leaderboard, he might be the first Auburn running back to win the Heisman since Bo Jackson. We'll get a wide receiver on this list, although it's tough to see one winning for the second consecutive year. But hey, anything is possible. This one is going to be kind of tough because I could see either player winning it, so we're going to combine them for this one. Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson from Ohio State are probably the two best wide receivers in the country next year, but because they both played Ohio State, they're likely going to eat into each other's numbers. But in case there's an injury or something like that, expect the other player to put up some monster numbers. In his first three seasons with the Buckeyes, Olave has caught 110 passes for 1,800 yards and 22 touchdowns. He only played in seven games last season, but would have been on pace for 100 catches, 1,500 yards, and 14 touchdowns. Not too bad. In Garrett Wilson's two seasons with the Buckeyes, he's caught 73 passes for over 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns. As I mentioned, it's going to be tough seeing a wide receiver win again, but these two are going to be the best in the country while putting up some elite numbers. And as we saw last season, anything is possible. Up next is a player you might have forgotten about because we haven't really seen him in some time. 
Washington State running back Max Borgie appeared in only one game last season for the Cougars. He's gotten comparisons to Christian McCaffrey, who could have won the Heisman at Stanford. Scratch that, should have won the Heisman at Stanford. In 27 career games, Borgie has rushed for 1,300 yards with 20 rushing touchdowns. In the passing game, he has 140 catches for 1,000 yards with 9 receiving touchdowns. When we saw him during his sophomore campaign, he rushed for 900 yards with 11 rushing touchdowns with 86 catches for 600 yards and 5 Five touchdowns. With a full season under his belt, Borgie is easily a guy who can have a thousand rushing yards and a thousand receiving yards this season. If he stands any chance of winning though, he's gonna need Washington State to be in contention for the Pac-12 title. We saw what North Carolina was able to do in the rushing game last season. Michael Carter and Javante Williams both had phenomenal seasons while splitting carries. If you were to combine both their seasons into one, those two players finished with 2,400 rushing yards and 27 rushing touchdowns. Now, I'm not going to say that British Brooks is going to put up those numbers this season for the Tar Heels, but this backfield is entirely his. Brooks will have a chance to put up some of the best rushing numbers in the country this season as he's going to be the lead rusher for North Carolina. He only has 34 carries in his career, so he's going to have to prove it to us first. But if if he can do anything like what Williams and Carter did last season, Brooks can be in for a special season. With Trey Sermon gone, Master Teague is going to lead the backfield for Ohio State. In his three years with the Buckeyes, he has 1,400 rushing yards with 13 rushing touchdowns. He's done this while splitting a lot of carries, and now he's going to see a majority of the bulk. We've seen glimpses of what Teague can do when given a shot. Last year against Indiana, he rushed for 170 yards with two touchdowns. He also rushed for over 100 yards with a touchdown on the road at Penn State. There are going to be a lot of players in the running for the potential Heisman at Ohio State. While it's likely going to go elsewhere, T could definitely surprise people if he puts up monster numbers this season while leading the way for a great Buckeyes offense. We're going to wrap up this video with a defensive player just because it truly counts as a sleeper. We've never seen a true defensive player take on the Heisman, so why not throw a dart for 2021? If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Kayvon Thibodeau from Oregon. Through his first two seasons with the Ducks, he's been arguably the top edge rusher in the nation. In 20 career games, he has 23.5 tackles for loss with 12 sacks. We've seen him disrupt games like no other, and he'll likely be much better in 2021. He already has two years to back up his work, so a monster season could convince voters. Chase Young finished fourth in voting in 2019. Jarrell Peppers was fifth in 2016. Manti Teo finished second in 2012, and Tyron Matthew finished fifth in 2011. Defensive players have come close over the past decade, so it's not anything out of the ordinary. Like I said, it's going to be a long shot since it's never happened before, but why not potentially call my historic shot? Well, those are my 10 picks for non-quarterbacks who could potentially win the Heisman in 2021. Was there a player that I didn't mention that you think should be on this list? Drop a comment down below and share with me your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football content like this, then this is definitely the place for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.